Hello folks, welcome from the Italian guy. So today I'm going to show you how to transfer uh, files from uh, your computer to your smartphone. Yeah, we do it every day, Italian guy. <laughs> yeah, but I'm going to show you how to do that without the USB cable. Sometimes it could be useful. Yeah, because um, Windows um, doesn't recognize the drivers and you are in trouble or the USB cable uh, is broken um, so the transfer speed is um, low or maybe you don't have the USB cable handy for whatever reason so how can we do that? yeah, we can just install an app on a free app on your smartphone and the free software on your computer they communicate between the two and here it is let's see how Okay, so let's go to the Play Store on our Android smartphone and uh, let's look up for Wi-Fi FTP. I have already installed it, so in your case you have to click install. I will click just, uh, I will tap just open. Okay, so uh, it gives me this web um, IP address, but we have to tap start first. Okay. You can see on the top left a Wi-Fi uh, signal, so it means that the um, uh, uh, server, the FTP server is enabled on our phone. So um, uh, this means that we can connect from any device to our phone by using those uh, numbers. IP address 192.168.089. In my case is 89, but in yours can be and will be different. So you just have to copy this IP address that I just uh, mentioned it, and the port that you can see in the bottom where you when you read server URL 2221. You can change those settings if you tap the uh, gear icon on the top. So you can uh, choose the port number 2221 in this case or you can uh, um, restrict the access, but I don't think this is the case because you guys are connected to your own uh, phone from your own laptop device. So there is no need of this excessive security to me. Anyway, if you want to do that, just tap and then you can choose the user ID and the password. Those two data combined with the user ID and password, combined with the port number and the IP address I showed you before, um, those data have, have to be put exactly in the in the software um, that I will show you in a moment on your computer. Okay, so keep this um, data handy, these numbers handy, and let's jump to the desktop now to see how we can finally connect to our phone. So here we are. Open up your favorite browser and point it to filezilla-project.org uh, Click on the link, download link button, I will show you now, yeah, this grey uh, gray button here, download FileZilla client. Uh, since I have been using uh, Linux, uh, automatically my uh, the website detects that I have been using uh, Linux and uh, shows me the Linux version. In your case, you will receive a, uh, a screen like this. So click the green button, download FileZilla client, install it and open it up. I, will already, uh, I have already done it. And here it is. So now, uh, you can choose to put those numbers in uh, the numbers that you see on your phone, the IP address is 89 and the port is uh, is 2221 you can either choose to do it here and click connect or you can put those numbers on the top but this way you have to do it every time you open the, the software so by doing like this you can uh, click new site and you can put those numbers in uh, this uh, screen in this window okay so here we are already connected. You can see on the left side is my home on Linux. So the, the, the left side is your computer, your laptop. And the right side, it shows all the files and folders you have on the phone. 
and this is the file that I just used to uh, for recording the Wi-Fi app. So let's put it on the on my computer just by double clicking. It says it already exists. Yeah, let's overwrite it, and you can see it's transferring two three me me megabytes per uh, per second. You know, it's not bad. Okay, that's it. And you can do the same in the, the other sense. If you want to transfer the other direction, if you want to transfer file from your computer, so the left side to your uh, smartphone, the right side, you can just double click or you can drag. And that's it, guys. So the video has ended. I hope it was clear and it helped you to do to transfer files from uh, your uh, computer to your smartphone without any USB cable. Please comment in the box below for any questions. And if you like the video, give me a like, please. And uh, subscribe so you can help me to grow. And uh, if you want me to review any other things or to produce any other guide on the computer, please let me know in the box below. <laughs> See you next time, guys. Goodbye.